Close, close. Oh, that's got a bloody carpet. I'm not going Howard Hughes. Don't worry. <laughs> Toilet's gone. Well, broken. Not by me. Well, sort of. I've never broken a toilet. Seriously? Near 10 years of benders and not one Armitage and Shanks harmed. I never know what to say in these things. Bit of a bust, if you choose to accept it. <clears throat> Flush a pet goldfish, fine. Flush sea monkeys, even better. You can even flush a budgie, if you worked it. But never flush a guinea pig. That is the unspoken rule in the animal kingdom. And for good reason. Attenborough should be documenting that. Not bloody howler monkeys in Costa Rica. Guinea pig disposal. That's useful. Hmm? It's the expanding fur, you see. It's lethal for your drains. Your bog brush gets bent, and then your elbow deep in the bowl. It's visceral. Just chuck it in the recycling like everybody else and don't ever flush it. Especially if it's not your guinea pig. That'll really piss on your chips. Actually, some better advice. Don't get mangled drunk at your neighbor's baby shower and sit on their kid's guinea pig. It's not a good icebreaker. They prefer a scented candle. It was the usual friendly gathering, you know? You drink a bottle of Merlot, maybe a couple. You tell a few dirty anecdotes and some Karen rolls her eyes and then you smugly sit down for a well-earned smarmy rest, you know? <laughs> As you sit, you thought that the squeaking sound was coming from the leather settee. It wasn't. You look under your derriere to see a mass of tiny limbs pretzeled in a furry knot. Guinea pigs don't bend as much as you'd like. You shove the corpse in your trousers. Safe. Until little Lucy has noticed Pepper the guinea pig has vanished. Usually she can't tell a plane from a giraffe, but no. Tonight she's decided to be fucking Poirot. The hunt begins. Under every chair, amongst every curtain, in every drawer. Oh, Lucy has started to ball now. And you're sweating like Jeff Bezos at a charity dinner. <laughs> Peppa wouldn't do this, she's my best friend. I didn't have the heart to tell her that guinea pigs have no concept of friendship and probably considered her to be its sadist captor. Don't worry, Lucy, I shout. We'll find her. Everyone puts the shouting down to the wife, but what they don't know is the hairy bastard has decided to revive itself and is now squeaking horribly amongst your boxes. So, you develop a heavy cough and a trouser punch and tick. <coughs> Are you all right, Rich? <coughs> yep, it's just this terrible squeaking cough. <coughs> I think I should scurry home. So, you promised Lucy to search for Pepper and you run from the crime scene with a hairy, partially dead hostage. You mummify the corpse in toilet paper and send it directly to the Thames. That's when your bog busts. Don't hide dead pet evidence in your shitter. It floats. <laughs> <clears throat> Wine's gone. Toilet's gone. 
pig stays. Two pigs together, alone, in the sty for the night. We, 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 all the way home. Analyze this. One day, lad, all this will be yours. What, the curtains? No, not the curtains, lad. <laughs>